Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to react to some true crime videos. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And now, let's watch. A hiring moment, firefighters found a school teacher burned to death inside the trunk of a car. I wonder what that story was about. Horrifying websites on the internet that you should never visit, part one. Goodbyewarden.com gives the last words of 565 Texas inmates who were executed on death row. And some of the statements are absolutely gut-wrenching, with many asking someone uh -huh. to take care of their children when they're gone, and others insisting upon their innocence. Deathdate.info is a dark, morbid site that asks you to enter your name, age, weight, and height before spitting out the exact date that it thinks you're going to die. The site also provides you with three words that it says will be related to your death in some way. Plane crash info. That's like AI before AI. filled with recordings, pictures, and transcripts of the final moments of a plane crashing. And midnightinthedesert.com has unedited footage of the 67 exorcisms of Annalisa McKell. And trust me, her demonic screams will haunt your nightmares. Mm, that death date info.com. Someone's definitely going to mess with that with AI for sure. Scary and intriguing. U.S. Army soldier and fitness influencer has died by own choice just days after her daughter's 12th birthday. Michelle Young was a staff sergeant who enlisted at just 17 years old. The now 34-year-old served to tours in Afghanistan most recently in 2021. That same year, she extended her military contract to serve 20 years. As of September, she had served 16. Military values ran deep in her family. The soldier often spoke of her grandfather, a Navy veteran. In her free time, Young worked as a crisis and trauma response volunteer while also volunteering at a local women's and children's homeless shelter. It's unclear how or where it happened. Sarah Main, the coup of veteran-owned act Pivewear brand Curves and Combat Boots broke the news of Young's death through a GoFundMe campaign. Michelle was a beautiful soul, an amazing friend, a single mother, a soldier, and is proof you never know what someone is going through or what demons they may be fighting. Young's daughter was her whole world and the campaign was organized to help Gracie with anything she may need. We know Michelle would appreciate us all looking out for her now. Yeah, hopefully her daughter is being well taken care of. Rest in peace. Did you know that Chris Watts, the man who killed his entire family in 2018, has seen his daughter's spirit in his jail cell? In the book, Letters from Christopher, author Sherilyn Cattle claims that she received a letter from Chris where he details seeing his daughter in a dream in his jail cell. In this dream, he claims to have seen his daughter Cece dancing on the chair next to his bed in the cell. Mm. And he claims that while he saw her dancing in the jail cell, the folders and other items he had sitting there started to move by themselves. In the same book, he also claims to have talked it's to his guilt. dead wife, who he murdered on the phone from prison. That's for sure guilt there are multiple articles and regret. talking about this happening online. And it's also reported that the only things he's allowed to have in his cell are photos of his family and a Bible. He's also stated in the past that he hopes to be reconnected with his family one day, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, I can definitely guarantee you that that's guilt and regret that he's envisioning through his head. This right here is a strange true crime case involving two sharks. In 1935, fishermen caught a shark and put it in the aquarium in Sydney. A crowd came to see the shark and miraculously, great timing, it vomited a severed hand and a forearm out. The forearm had a boxing tattoo on it and the hand still had fingerprints. It belonged to Jim Smith, a petty criminal and a boxer. Upon examination, it was found that the limb was deliberately cut off with a knife. This opened a whole murder investigation. What makes it more interesting, the tiger shark did not eat the human arm. A smaller shark ate it and then the tiger shark ate that shark. Jim Smith, the boxer, was last seen at the Cecil Hotel with some business buddies. And by business buddies, I mean everyone that commits insurance fraud. Two men, Brady and Holmes, were both arrested on suspicion of the murder. And later on, they confessed to doing it. Apparently, Brady cut up Smith, put him in a box, and tossed it into the bay. And that's when that shark ate the remains, and then the tiger shark ate that shark. It's kind of crazy how this whole thing came full circle like that. Let me know what you guys think about this it case does. in the comment section below. You know, he took the words right out of my mouth. Everything does come full circle. This woman got a man beaten to death in the streets of Baltimore by screaming. This is Latiqua Mays, and she was 20 years old when all this went down. So Latiqua had lived in Baltimore, Maryland for a very long time. So a little while before this incident, Latiqua was living in a boarding house with one of her closest friends. And one evening, this man named Donald Robinson broke into their room at the boarding house and assaulted her friend right in front of her. Now, obviously, this was a horrible thing for Donald to have done, 
But Latiqua didn't think that Donald had been given a long enough prison sentence for the assault. So one day while Latiqua was walking down the street in Baltimore with her father, she came across Donald. She saw him out in the free world. That's when she started to scream, he graped me, he graped me, pointing at Donald. Now, I'm pretty sure she didn't know exactly what was happening, but she incited people to violence and then ordered a group of men that were nearby to start beating him. So these young men who were at a basketball court nearby joined in. They started beating, punching, kicking Donald. They held him down and mercilessly beat him in the middle of the street while Atiqua pepper sprayed him. Wow. And later on, Donald was eventually taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead from his injuries. Even Latiqua's own father, Willie Mays, joined in on the attack, and he was eventually sentenced to two years in prison for second-degree murder. And Latiqua, she was sentenced to six years in prison. And for a while in her sentence, she was in solitary confinement. Now, I don't know what happened to her after all this. I don't know where she's at now. She's out of prison by now. But the mob violence in this story is absolutely insane. And I can't believe this man was murdered in the middle of the street in broad daylight by a yeah. group of people. I mean, a beating would have been sufficient but to flat out kill the guy in broad daylight that's something else we're the adults you can say that i am saying that i was by age i was by age and by maturity uh you maybe you were a teacher mary you can't say i was immature but you don't know him no but i don't need to know him in this discussion he's the child i'm talking about you who was the boss who was the boss what who was the boss back then? You know, then? there was me pursuing you. Who was the boss back then? <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, so who lost. Was? Who was? What is this Just about? Say. Just say. Who was the boss? Well, I knew it was what I knew back then. But who was the boss? He was 13, Mary. But who was the boss? This is getting weird. Who was the boss? Yeah. Who? I'm pursuing the relationship. Super awkward. Who was the boss? Well, I was the pursuer. Yes. Mary, even as you're but hearing this now, come on, he was 13. Does it matter? It absolutely matters. Oh, well, flaw me. Wow. Flaw me as, a, as an uh, As an adult? Well, yes, flaw me. I did the yeah. best I could. I was so lost in that until the end. Today's case is one that shouldn't have even happened. But unfortunately, many girls, just like Lily, will suffer the same fate that she did. In December of 2021, Lily was just 18 years old and she'd been out at a nightclub. And in said nightclub, she ended up meeting 31-year-old Lewis Hain. Lewis was a father himself and the pair were seen on CCTV leaving together. In the CCTV show, it was clear that the two were getting on very well. It looked like they were having a nice time and it appeared that they'd just sort of left the club to have a bit of time to themselves. However, Lily's mum was on her way to pick up Lily, which had been arranged, and Lily had kept in touch with her mum, letting her know that she was nearly at the arranged pickup spot, until eventually she stopped responding to her mum. The pair ended up heading down a back alley, and it's believed that because Lily ended up saying no to Lewis's sexual advances, he murdered mm. her. By forcefully ripping off her shirt and then strangling her and dumping her body into water nearby. To make this case even wow. more heartbreaking, Lily's own mother had eventually ended up seeing Lewis walking down the street. She ended up looking at him and she thought he seemed odd, but little did she know he just murdered her own daughter. And to top off and to just prove even further what kind of a person that Lewis is, he then got home and told his girlfriend, his long-term partner, that he'd just strangled someone. And it was hours later what? when Lily's body was discovered. So due to him being seen on CCTV with Lily, he was arrested. And in court, he stated that the reason why he killed Lily was because she threatened to accuse him of being a rapist after she found out that he had a girlfriend. Which wow. I personally think is utter rubbish. And he was sentenced to a minimum of 23 years in prison. Cases like this should not be happening simply because girls say no to a man. And I really, really hope that Lily gets the justice that she really, really deserves. Amen. It's just disgusting. No one should have to force you to do something, especially as a woman. Know your rights, ladies. This 18-year-old model was murdered, and you won't believe what her killer said. This is Sally Ann Bowman, and she was born on September 11th, 1987 in Carl Shulton, South London. 
She attended the Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology in Croton. Sally Bowman had dreams of one day appearing on the cover of Vogue and had been compared to supermodel Kate Moss. After leaving school in 2004, she worked part-time as a hairdresser and model. In January 2005, she joined Pulse Model Management, a local modeling agency, and she became the face of Swatch Watches and took part in the Swatch Alternative Fashion Week in April 2005. But in September of that year, her life would drastically change forever. On the night of September 24, 2005, Sally Bowman and her older sister Nicole and a group of friends went to Lloyd's Bar in Croton, where they stayed until 1 a.m. After leaving the bar, Sally Bowman waited outside for 15 minutes before being taken to a friend's house by taxi. She contacted her ex-boyfriend, Louis Broadston, and he agreed to pick her up and take her home after she told him Nicole had been arrested for fighting. She took a taxi back to Croton Town Central, where Sproatston picked her up around 2 a.m., but while in the car, Sally and her ex-boyfriend got into a fight and they accused the other of infidelity, which had been contributed to their recent split. Shortly after 4 a.m., Sally left the car and Lewis drove off. Minutes later, Sally was then stabbed in the neck and stomach and was then raped as she lay dead or dying on the ground. Her handbag, cardigan, wow. and underwear and mobile phone That's were stolen. That's unfortunate. Police initially treated Lewis as a suspect, and he was then arrested. After being held for four days, DNA evidence eliminated him as a suspect, and he was released without charge. On June 28, 2006, 35-year-old Croton man Mark Wrong Dixie location. was arrested on suspicion of murdering Sally. He was charged with Sally's murder and remained in custody to await trial. This development came after police discovered a DNA link to the murder, having taken a DNA swab from Dixie when they arrested him two weeks earlier for allegedly being involved in a brawl at a bar, where he was working as a chef. After more than 18 months in custody, Mark Dixie went on trial at the Old Bailey in the city of London on February 4, 2008, charged with the murder of Sally Ann Bowman. He admitted to having sex with her after finding her on the ground outside her home, but denied murdering her and said that he did not realize she was dead or dying when he found her. Which is just sickening because we all know he did it and what he did to her. Mark Dixie was then found guilty of That's Sally BS. Bowman's murder by anonymous verdict on February 22, 2008 after three hours of jury deliberation. The judge sentenced Mark Dixie to life in prison with a minimum of 34 years, meaning that he is unlikely to be considered for parole until at least 2040. It was also revealed that Mark Dixie was already a convicted serial sex offender. This case is just so yep. chilling and sad That'll because do it. Sally Bowman had dreams of becoming a model and just doing something good with her life. And that went all out the door because this mentally unstable man had other plans. She was just 18 years old with her whole life ahead of her. May she rest in peace. Yeah, he was trying to get out of it for sure. Well, this is terrifying. A plastic surgeon by the name Dr. Kim has got people absolutely horrified after sharing the before and after results of their patient's facelifts. Now, thinking it may have just been one or two cases, I went on Dr. Kim's TikTok page and oh my lord, there's dozens. But the crazier what? part is that in some of the captions, it reads that people saw his videos on TikTok and then flew all the way from places like South Korea and even Spain to get this procedure specifically done by him. And yes, this procedure is as brutal as it looks because a facelift requires you snipping your face skin, pulling mm. it tight, cutting away the excess, and then stitching it back on your face. As no, Dr. thank Kim, you. There's really not a lot of information about it. He has no bio, no website, is definitely using a random doctor in his profile picture and he can only be contacted by whatsapp so the question is do you think they look better before or after that's just weird why would anybody want to look like a filter oh yeah this is by far the craziest video of 2024 this is a video that has gone viral in the past couple days in which a father or mother's boyfriend is threatening the son to shoot him and he does the video opens up with the father or boyfriend pointing the gun at the son he can be heard saying i'm going to blow his effing brains out right now the mother then comes over and pulls the father away, screaming, no, no, stop. The father then walks away, and the son then says, blow my brains out. Wow. The father then comes back into the room, screaming, you want me to, while pointing the gun at him. The son flinches at this point and turns away and says, shoot me, I dare you. I guarantee you go to jail for life. The mother then shuts the door, and you hear the father saying, I'm getting ready to blow his brains out and yours. I'm sick of this, to the mother. The son then wow. gets up and opens the door. He then says, you're going to blow my mom's brains out. 
The father then points the gun back at the son and fires. Everything goes silent as you hear the mom gasp. The camera then faces the floor and you hear the mom repeating, Did he hit you? Did he hit you? And at this point, you see blood droplets hitting the floor. Once this happened, the mom screams, Oh my god, you're going to jail. The son then runs out of the house and shuts the door. The video then ends. Luckily, the bullet only grazed the son's ear and he survived, and the father or mother's boyfriend then went into the backyard and ended his own life. Probably because he thought he killed the son with that shot. I don't know what caused this whole situation, but it had to be brewing for some time for the man to snap like this. You can find the video on Twitter, and it has over 25 million views in just a couple of days. You can only go so far to push someone's buttons. Can you imagine going to space and then getting stuck for more than a year? Well, that's exactly what happened to these three astronauts. They came back to Earth after spending 371 days in space when their return capsule was unexpectedly hit by space junk. When the three men, Sergei, Dmitry, and Frank, were launched back in September 2022, they were told that they were only going to spend six months in space, but that later turned into more than a year. And that's because the oh, wow. accident caused so much damage to the radiator, so they had to wait for a replacement capsule to be launched back into space. When it finally arrived, the three astronauts were safely brought back to Earth and landed in a remote area of Kazakhstan on September 27th, 2023. Even though they were okay, they explained how tough it was spending so long in space and I the bet. psychological damage. And you might think that 371 days is an absurd amount of time in space, which it is, but Russia still holds a world record of 437 days in space, which was set in the mid-1990s. Them Russians, I'm built different. This is why you should be careful of some photographers. Zoe uh -oh. Fit, this resonates with me. Went in a photo shoot with a photographer she thought she trusted. The photographer's name was William Francis. But when Zoe went to go change her clothes in the bathroom, she noticed a little light on the charger brick. This one. She even found a chip inside. When she plugged the chip in her camera, this is what she found. Him plugging it up. Before I continue, That's I need to use Crazy Fitness app. It even gives you the exact program to get the body you want. Link in my bio if you want to get in shape too. Zoe became devastated and even weird. Wait, what out was that an act? And the scary part is you can get these cameras at places like Walmart and Amazon. Shameless plug. Literally. Bro did a shameless plug, which was something supposed to be so serious. And he just put it in there. I don't know what's more cringy. Anyways, yeah, that's a big no-no. Um be, you know, be aware of your surroundings. It's a dangerous world out there. When this girl came home acting strange, her parents recorded her. After the recording was made, she vanished. This is the baffling unsolved disappearance that has plagued investigators for years. 16-year-old Carly Gousse was a fan of scary films. Her loved ones never imagined that their life would turn into one. The teen left her home on the 13th of October 2018. It was the early hours of the morning and the night before she had been out with friends. It's reported that she lied to her parents about where she was going that night and reportedly asked them to pick her up. When they did so, she was running around acting really disorientated and not herself. Her dad, Zach, actually suspected that she had taken some kind of substance, which she had apparently admitted to. For this reason, her stepmom, Melissa, decided to audio record what Carly was like that night so she could show her the next day. They hoped that by showing Carly this, it would encourage her to not do the substances again. However, tragically, they would never actually see her again. Mm. It's believed that while her parents were sleeping, Carly left the house and never came back. Eyewitnesses reportedly saw her walking south, approximately 30 yards east of Highway 6 and 100 yards south of Sierra View Road. She then seemingly vanished without a trace. Police were informed and set about trying to find Carly. Melissa made a Facebook Live video 12 hours after the disappearance in the hope that it would attract attention and encourage her to come home. Her family were desperate for help and wanted anyone who knew anything to come forward. Despite no sign of Carly, her family haven't given up hope. Now, interestingly, actually, Carly's dad was arrested on unrelated DV charges. On what would have been Carly's 20th birthday in 2022, an age progression picture was distributed, showing what she may now look like. When she vanished, she was 5'7 and weighing 110 pounds. Yeah, I wonder where she is now. Well, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching these videos with me and hanging out. What were your guys' thoughts on these videos? Would love to hear them. Let me know in the comments. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, if you like this type of content, make sure to check out these videos. See ya.